If you've been keeping up with this channel at all, you've probably seen me wear this shirt for the past couple of videos. And since late September, I've worn it over 30 times without washing it. If you're new to the channel, we love helping people optimize their travel experience with guides and reviews just like this one, so consider subscribing. Merino wool is great for travel due to its natural antimicrobial and anti-stink properties that are built right into the fabric. Also, it's quick dry if you need to wash it while you're on the road. So what's the difference between the Merino wool V-neck from Woolen Prints that I have here compared to other tees on the market? Let's jump in and find out. Kicking it right off with the color, this is the Silver Birch and Woolen Prints offers a bunch of different colors and varieties on their website. We typically recommend selecting a darker color for travel because dirt and stains don't show up as pronounced in those darker colors and you can kind of get more wears out of them between washes, even more so with Merino wool. However, we wanted to switch it up a little bit and try for a bit of a lighter color this time. I actually spilled a little bit of tomato sauce on this thing because I'm a bit of a clumsy eater, especially when the food is super delicious. However, I just rinsed it off. It was pink for a couple days and then it sort of dissipated and disappeared with more wears. And again, I have not given this thing a full wash since I received it. Aesthetically, it pretty much looks like a normal t-shirt. I'm six foot two and 185 pounds and overall I like the fit. It does seem to fit a little bit larger than true to size. So just note that if you end up picking one of these up. Plus, I dig that the cut of the shirt is a little bit longer. It works well on my taller frame. The feel of this and the material that comes together is where we start to get to that differentiation when compared to other Merino wool t-shirts on the market. The GSM is pretty much average right around 160 and this is pretty much gonna contribute to the thickness feel of the t-shirt. It's 78% Merino and 22% nylon. Thin nylon filaments are wrapped directly around the Merino wool and this creates a little bit more of a durable fabric when compared to 100% Merino wool. Plus, you still have that natural stretchiness of merino wool and that nylon around it gives it a little bit of structure and holds it together as well. Overall, I think it feels better. It feels a little bit tighter than a 100% merino wool t-shirt. There is less pilling going on and it's a little bit smoother to the touch. It's a little bit hard to describe with words. I wish I could just hand this to you through the screen right now and you could feel it for yourself. Some will say that since this isn't 100% merino wool, there is more room for this thing to stink with less wears. However, in actual usage, I have not found that to be the case. And personally, I would take additional durability from the nylon any day. Also just wanted to have a quick aside here about the Outlier Dreamweight tee that we have recently been testing. I think it was a prototype and it's not in stock on their website at the moment, but that thing is super light at 110 GSM. It's 25% nylon and 75% merino wool, so there's a little bit more nylon in it. And although it feels like that shirt is floating on your body, it doesn't really hold its form quite as much. It's a little bit more wavy and a little bit more loose of a fit. So the point being is 160 GSM here, I think is about a good weight to get the average feel of what a typical cotton t-shirt would be. So it's not too much of a departure in feel and the thickness than a traditional cotton tee. At the time of this review, I've worn this shirt upwards of 30 times since late September when we received it, and I haven't washed it yet. Overall, there's pretty much no odor going on. Just to note, I have had this out to air dry, so it hasn't been like stuffed in a backpack when I'm not wearing it. I mostly have had it air dry, and I think that's helped quite a bit. One thing to note is that there is a bit of deodorant buildup that's happened because I've worn deodorant every day that I've worn this shirt. And it also has a slightly blue tint due to the Old Spice that I've been using. This is not really specific to the shirt, but just something to bring up on merino wool in general. Definitely don't use antiperspirant ever. It's just gonna build up and you can't get as many wears between washes. And overall, it's just not good for the fabric. I have been meaning to try a different deodorant with merino wool t-shirts, especially since it's quite noticeable with this lighter color. I've heard some great things about crystal deodorant. I have some coming in the mail and I'm gonna be testing it out in the next month or two with my various merino wool t-shirts. If you have experience with this, please let me know in the comments and let me know if you found a solution that works really well. And with this deodorant issue, that's probably the only reason I would give this shirt a wash is just because we're getting a little bit of buildup. However, with a cold wash, you lay it flat to dry, 
that stuff will easily just come out and the shirt will just be pretty much like brand new. I've tested with a bunch of different Merino wool t-shirts. We've definitely put some of their brands like Wooly and Outlier through the ringer with almost up to two years of testing in some cases. However, we haven't done enough testing with this wool and prints to see durability wise how it will hold up in the long run yet. We'll be sure to keep the usage timeline updated on the written portion of our website as we wear this for a longer period of time. And I'm confident after 30 wears for about a month of use, this will continue to hold up really well. And just a quick PSA on merino wool holding up. You wanna care for this in a very specific way. So most companies will recommend that you wash this gently with cold water, either in the sink preferably or in the machine, and then you lay it flat to dry. And that's gonna help maintain the shape and just be nice and gentle on those fibers. Be sure to go check out our merino wool guide over on packhacker.com if you wanna learn more. We definitely break down a bunch of different ways on how to best care for your merino wool on the road and when you're at home. And lastly, as far as warranty goes, Wool and Prince will offer a 30 day window where you can either return or exchange your product as long as you haven't worn it and the tags are still on. Back in 2015, I ordered one of Woolen Prince's button down Oxfords and I tried to break this rule by exchanging the salmon shirt that I worn a couple times for a blue shirt and sadly I was denied. Totally makes sense. It's their policy. I get it. So now I'm the happy owner of two button down Oxford shirts and I took the blue one with me on a trip of two years around the world and that was like kind of my dress shirt that I wore. So definitely have had some really great experience with the Woolen Prince brand overall from that shirt. So to wrap this thing up with some pros and cons, we love that 22% nylon has been added to the blend for additional durability. Because of that, there is less peeling going on than some other Merino wool t-shirts on the market. It's also smooth to the touch. With some other Merino wool brands, it can be slightly textured and slightly itchy to the touch, especially at first before the shirt's been broken in. On to some of the cons, it is possible that the shirt will be a little bit less anti-stink compared to 100% Merino wool garment. The tag has degraded somewhat with wear and I imagine that it will just straight up wash out. Also, it appears to fit a little bit larger than true to size, although the length is nice. The Woolen Prince V-neck tee is a great addition to the wardrobe of travelers and minimalists alike. The great thing about Merino is that you can have more wears between washes without the stink. Woolen Prince takes this one step further with the smooth blend of 22% nylon and 78% Merino, creating a well-crafted garment with additional durability. Although the tag on the shirt will likely wash out and the fit seems slightly larger than true to size, this has a place as one of the top Merino tees that we've tested to date due to the feel of the fabric and the less overall peeling that we've seen compared to other Merino tees. Thanks for taking a look at our review of the Merino wool woolen prints V-neck. Be sure to head over to packhacker.com slash newsletter, sign up for that newsletter and never miss an update. We'll see you in the next video. Hello, am I looking at the camera? Am I looking above it? 30 times, over 30 times.